so you want to be a data scientist. The New York Times made it look so easy. Take a few courses in data science and a web-based startup will readily pay you top dollars for your newly acquired skills. Since the McKinsey Global Institute reported on the impending shortage of data crunchers, the wannabe data scientists are searching for learning opportunities in big data analytics. Newspaper coverage suggests that even with limited previous exposure to empirics, one may enroll in MOOCs or join programming boot camps to establish one's bona fides. In a recent blog on Forbes.com, the author of Data Mining for Dummies gave four reasons not to get an advanced degree in data science. I'm on the other hand believe that a structural learning environment is exactly what many need to enable the career change they have contemplated for years but have not moved on it. It all depends upon what kind of a learner you are. If you are a disciplined, self-motivated, self-actuated individual, you can pick up the skills by attending MOOCs and uh, participating it in coding boot camps. But if you are like the rest of us, who once enrolled in a free online course but didn't complete it, you need some structure. A degree or a certificate in data science or business analytics is exactly what you need to upgrade your skills and be part of the network that will help you reorient your career. In my book, Getting Started with Data Science, I mentioned Paul Minton, who was making $20,000 serving tables in New York. However, a three-month programming course at the Ziphian Academy turned his life around. He earned over $100,000 in 2014 as a data scientist for a web startup in San Francisco. Six figures right off the bat. To me, it was astonishing, he told the New York Times. When the inspiring data scientists think of a career in the glamorous world of big data and analytics, they think of Mr. Minton. His story, though a bit Cinderella-like, is true but rare. He worked for Change.org. However, not everyone should expect a similar outcome. Why? Because in addition to good fortune, Mr. Minton had majored in math in his undergraduate training. And we all know that math helps. It will be unwise, however, to assume that with almost no empirical background, one can master the complex world of data and algorithms in a matter of few weeks and be gainfully employed. While speaking at meetups organized by uh, software companies, I encountered dozens of enthusiasts who are keen to start training in data science but do not know where to begin. I advise them to build on their core competencies and domain knowledge. For instance, if you studied journalism or creative writing as an undergraduate, you might want to learn how to analyze socioeconomic data and instead of trying to set up Hadoop clusters or big data tasks which are best left to computer scientists, you rather tell stories with data as a journalist or a writer. If you are a disciplined learner, you can explore data science training offered by MOOCs. Um, there's Coursera, which is one of the largest platforms, and it has been our listing um, one of the top most popular courses being in data science. Same is the case with IBM's Cognitive Class, which offers several courses in data science. Cognitive Class was formerly known as Big Data University. As for the learners who would prefer a structured learning environment, there are several options. You can register for courses or certificates offered by universities through their continuing education fac faculties, enroll in an online graduate degree in data science, or take a more traditional approach of enrolling in a full-time or part-time master's program. A good place to search for learning opportunities is Katie Nugget's website that maintains detailed lists of postgraduate programs in data science, including full-time, part-time, and online master's and other certifications. Once you have earned some credentials, you still have to prove your worth to future employers. If you're making a switch from another career, your experience may not be of much use in your pursuits in the data-centric world. My advice is to, for novice data scientists lacking experience is to ask potential employers, not necessarily for a job, but instead ask for a data set and a puzzle. If you can solve a data-oriented problem for a firm as part of the vetting process, you can overcome the shortcomings in your resume. So remember, don't ask for a job, ask for a data set and a problem. You can solve it and then ask for a job. For those who are still on the fence thinking whether to take the plunge 
into the world of big data and analytics, they should know that the demand for data scientists far exceeds the capacities of the universities and colleges to produce them. This is unlikely to change shortly. Act now and embrace data.